What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Clawf in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be writing some competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, let me know about it in the comments section. And if there's a moveset you uh, haven't seen here in this video or one that works well for you, let me know about it too there. And if you're enjoying these, they're helping you. Drop a like on the video and let's get into it. So Clawf is a pretty cool Pokemon. Let's have a look at its stats and its abilities. So first things first here, you can definitely see see this has a good potential as a physical sweeper. So overall, its stats are reasonable on its attack and defense. They're, they're really good. That's quite solid. And, uh, you know, a sweeping Pokemon with a good defense, that is, you know, always very handy. Now we look at its special defense, which is really, really bad. And we've got its speed, which isn't really great for a sweeper either. However, it has a good ability here called Anger Shell. Now, what Anger Shell does at half or less of the Pokemon's health, it'll get a, basically an Ancient Power boost there. So, like attack, special attack, uh, speed, uh, those sort of things. However, it doesn't get the defense and special defense. They get dropped instead. So, it makes it weaker on the defense and special defensive side, and it gets a boost in all those like, offensive stats, which is cool, you know? Um, a lot of the time, you will find yourself being able to get an Anger Shell especially on a physical move. On a special move, though, it's probably going to get wrecked in one shot. So if you you could opt for something like Focus Sash if you really want to get Anger Shell. But uh, I've gone for something that's a little bit less gimmicky. So we've got Sword Dance. So Sword Dance is a great uh, physical attacking sweeping move. So Sword Dance plus Anger Shell is going to be doing heaps of damage. And with the Anger Shell and Jolly Nature, I'd always run Jolly on a physical uh, sweeping set. Do not run Adamant because you're going to get outsped even after Anger Shell uh, by Fast Pokemon. And you know, that can uh, that gives you great sweeping potential then. So you've, essentially, you've got a plus three. Now, I've gone, I've, I've gone and given this uh, Rock Blast with loaded dice. So that's 100 base power uh, minimum there. You could definitely get more if you got like a fifth hit, but 100 base power, 90% actually is really, really good. So that's uh, probably better than Stone Edge in my opinion. So the other moves I've given it are X Scissor. Now, X Scissor could be replaced by something else. Uh, mainly, you're going to be using Rock Blast here, and you've got Crab Hammer. Crab Hammer is actually its most powerful move. Um, it can run it with uh, Water Terror, so and it, it's it's really really good too. It gives you some extra coverage, so we can go Water Terror Crab Hammer against any other like ground types coming in there. Like go for it, you know. Say they go for an Earthquake, right? You've got your, your Water Terror, and you know it's it's got great base power, and also has a chance to crit too, which is uh you know quite handy. Now X is is good for Grass type Pokemon, you know Psychic stuff like that, but it can be replaced. You know you can have Knock Off and other moves like that. Uh, there's High Horsepower if you're worried about Steel type Pokemon. Um, there are little like options like that. It's got Brick Break, but Brick Break's a little bit weak. So you could go High Horsepower. That's got like um, yeah, it's got like 90, uh, 95 power. So that's uh, another good option there. So. That's pretty good coverage there all around. And then you've got like Crab Hammer just as a, uh, you know, a very powerful uh, Water Terror uh, type too. Now, it does have a big weakness on the special defensive side. So I would not be swapping this into any real powerful special attacking Pokemon unless you outsped them and you can just finish them off with like a Rock Blast, you know. But uh, yeah, just do bear in mind its speed, like, it's not bad, but it's not super amazing. So it can be easily outsped. But, you know, after your Anger Shell, it's pretty quick then. Now, some other options you could use on there. So it depends on your move here. So I have seen and tried. Uh, we've got, like, let me let me show you its physical uh, sort of rock move here. So we've got Stone Edge at 100 base power and accuracy. But if you're not, if you're running loaded dice and Stone Edge, it's, it's the same base power and it's 10% more accurate. It has a chance to roll another, you know, a fifth hit. So that could be 100, uh, 100 base, 120 base power there, right? So Sorry, 125 base power. So there's no point running Stone Edge over Rock Blast unless you're not running Loaded Ice. But I don't know. I quite like Rock Blast because it gives it a chance to uh, have those multiple hits. So you could go with that. Uh, there's another option with Trailblaze there. If you are worried about your speed, this can actually hit water type poker which is kind of unique but it does lack base power so you might have to go like terra terra grass or something like that i'm thinking that could uh be an option there but that's more gimmick so i probably I, I still think this is probably the best set to run it you could go life orb as well that's another option with stone edge uh you could go like this i've seen people do this and uh yeah you could go like a life orb there um so that's another option um, you could also go Citrus Berry too, so if you, uh, obviously you got put into Anger, Anger Shell and then you wanted a little bit more health back, you got Citrus Berry there too. 
And that'll bring you over the Anger Shell point again. So I will say this about Anger Shell. I've done a claw sweep, so if you do want to watch this, I did a specific moveset based around getting Anger Shell to activate more than once. But it's more gimmick. But the, the main the main thing point here I'm trying to put across is you can activate Anger Shell more than once. So you got it at a half health, right, or below. Say Citrus Berry heals you up again. You know, the opponent goes for a priority move as you're sweeping. They don't faint you, but it puts you half or below again. Anger Shell activates again. So you can activate this ability multiple m multiple times. The problem is you're getting weaker and weaker in your defenses every time you try and do that. Now, I have seen this as well. Um, it's a bit more of a gimmick because I don't really see the point of White Herb too much. Like, it's really got bad special defense. But for his defense, it's not all that bad. So you could run a White Herb too if you're really worried about Anger Shell's... Um, Anger Shell sort of drops there. I think this is sort of a crime that it doesn't get Shell Smash, but I can see why they did it, you know? So, yeah, imagine, like, Shell Smash and Anger Shell with a Focus Sash. So, I've seen people do this, too. Like, I, like they've done this, so they've done Focus Sash, and they're like, okay, well, it doesn't matter what hit, you know, I can live this uh, special attacking move and get my Anger Shell 100% of the time. So, that's option two. Um, it can get out spared. There is priority and, and things like that, too. But if you've got, like... If you've got web support or psychic terrain support and stuff like that, it can, you know, work as a sweeper that way too on one health. So that's a that, that's your full full load there on the anger anger shell sweeper. Very, very uh scary set there if we can get going. Next, I don't think this one is to be overlooked either, is a regenerator bulky set. Now, most support Pokemon have good bulk, and this has great bulk on the defensive side. Now, is special defense is rubbish. Now that's that's a big weakness on this type of set. I, I know that, but I have used this as a bulky defensive set, and it actually worked really, really well. I was just playing around, and it worked nice. So we've got Leftovers and Regenerator, which works really great, and we've got Stealth Rock here, so a nice Stealth Rocker. We've got Knock Off too, so good utility there, so we can get rid of any items, do a little bit of damage. And I've given it Stone Edge and Stomping Tantrum, just for some coverage. So this way I can get the maximum amount of damage out of these moves. This gives it really good coverage too, or the best coverage it can get. And, you know, I can put Stealth Rock on the field. I can swap it out too, and then I can swap it in to take, like, big powerful hits. And, you know, get some more damage on the opponent when they swap out or they don't have a move for it. And, you know, it works good. Um, as for the EVs, I've given it max health and max defense, Impish Nature. And that gives it a really wild defensive stat there. So it's very, very bulky, so... You know, give it a go. Um, if you want a stealth rock or a stealth rocker or just a defensive wall on the team, obviously a set like this is very prone to being worn down, uh, especially if. And as I said, you can't really swap this into special uh, special attacking moves very often, unless they're like not very effective. But even then, it does take a fair bit of damage. So if you're going to do this as like a core, I'd probably run it with like a water type Pokemon or something like that. Or but like. Probably like um, a special defensive grass Pokemon too. Like Amoongus wouldn't be too bad either. So you could run it with an Amoongus, you know, a Assault Vest Amoongus with Regenerator. That would make an, actually, that would make a really, really good core there. So Assault Vest Regenerator with a Claw for Regenerator. That's a nasty core right there. Like you could take the grass moves, the water moves. Um, you know, Among Us could swap into the claw for the fire type moves. Not a bad combination. Something to think about there. But there you go. Uh, that's a regenerated claw and a good partner suggestion for it with Among Us too. Um, next one here, I have seen this too, and I've given it a try. Is a weakness policy sweeper. Now this can work. Uh, I'm not saying it can't work. Like before, I was mentioning a special events, but if a Pokemon uses a physical move against Claw. And it's not like, it doesn't have like a super duper high attack stat, or it's not stab or something like that. It does have a chance of living, say, an earthquake. An earthquake's a great example here, or even a waterfall, you know. Um, if you can live that and get the weakness policy up, you can actually potentially have a sweep on your hands there. So you get the weakness policy, anger shell, and sword dance all happening in one turn. That's just, that's almost game over there, unless the opponent can outspeed you. That That's it. You know, it's going to be sweeping through the team. So I've got rock slide, high horsepower, and crab hammer here. So these are, you know, sort of the moves you're going to be using the most there. And I've given it a terror type water. Now, there is another option you can use here if you are thinking you've got a free turn. Uh, on weakness policy sets, generally, you need to start sweeping right away. But if you feel like you want to bait a Pokemon out, 
right? That's going to use, I don't know, one of those moves I was suggesting there. For example, we're using Earthquake and uh, Waterfall. So if you know you can swap this Pokemon easy to another Pokemon and you know you're going to get a swap, you could always Trailblaze on the swap there and then go for Sword Dance and then get your Weakness Pulse. You know, if they don't swap into that Pokemon, well, you've still got a Sword Dance up and you can still go for a Sweep, right? So that's another option there too. Um, yeah, after a trail blaze and an anger shell, not much will be outspeeding you with uh, Jolly Nature. So once again, sort of our uh, same sweeping EVs here, max attack and max speed at Jolly Nature. Always run Jolly on the physical set there. You're going to need the speed. Now the next one here, I know we've talked about uh, Claw's terrible special defensive uh, stat the whole battle, but I sort of want to see if we can uh, sort of patch that a little bit and make it a little bit more surprisingly bulky on that side. So I've opted for a Assault Vest set. Now, I've given this one max health and max attack. Uh, this time, we're going to be running a regenerator set, but it's going to be a uh, like a bulky a physical attacker. So we're not running support. We're just running pure um, health bolt and a max attack there. So it's going to be a slow, bulky attacker, and it's got a salt vest too. So it has a chance of actually living a, you know, a special move that it may not have in the past, bringing some surprise to the table, right? So we've got Trailblaze, which is great there because that could actually give us a speed boost. We've also got Stone Edge 2, uh, Knock Off, and Crab Hammer. So I see this actually doing pretty well. Um, now, I was thinking here, I actually need to change that. Uh, this is a bit of a surprise, right? I was going to actually go for a Grass Terror this time off Trailblaze. So that would give this the ability to outspeed Pokemon, you know, and you know, water types come in. You could give them a real good surprise there. And then after you've got a couple of Trailblaze up, you can fire off some powerful Stone Edges and things like that. So... That's uh, that's sort of a little bit of a different set there. Now, you could run a support set too, uh, but there's not many supporting moves you can use outside of attacking moves, of course, or because you can't use status moves with Assault Vest, but you could run something kind of similar uh, if you wanted to there, just to, I don't know, knock off would be a great move, sort of a nice support move there too. But yeah, you could give that a, uh, a go there, Assault Vest set, so a little bit more of a surprising uh, set there just to be able to live like special attacks. And when I, I say that loosely too, I'm not saying it's still going to be like absolutely wow, you know, amazing to live all these special moves easy. It's still going to struggle on repeated hits. So it's more for like taking one hit and then swapping it out and getting the regenerator back, that type of thing, you know. So there you go. Another option. Once again, that will work well with Amongus at the same time there. Except this set's got a lot more... Um, it, it's got a lot more presence about it than the support one I went over before, you know. So this one is going to be hitting hard, you know, it's going to be doing some good amount of damage there, My, like that crit off Stone Edge would be very, very powerful, you know, so there you go, there's an Assault Vest set, let's have a look at some special trash here, so we like to go over all the movesets for every Pokemon, and let's have a look at a special attacking set, this is woeful, so we've got a base of 35, uh, yeah, so on this set, I wanted to go modest, I really did, but the problem is, if you go modest, it loses its speed, really badly and you kind of want to be going first as much as possible so we're going to give it timid so i've got a max uh max speed max special attack so we've got ancient power there ancient power and anger shell combination here so we're hoping for that we're really hoping to get a boost there on ancient power and then uh, anger shell so that means we can get a plus two in special attack when the health gets a little bit low there potato berry is going to kick in and give it another special attack boost and then we can fire off Earth Power and Ancient Power, Terra Blast Water. And if things are looking woeful, we can go for a Guillotine there. So it's, it's a Peep Knight special, and uh, I, I think this could work, you know. But you've got to get a lot of luck, you know. Get a, get that Ancient Power and then Anger Shell at the same time. It would be crazy if you got it to work, though. Um, it would be really good. Because it actually wouldn't be bad after a plus... What do you get, like, the plus two for Ancient Power. And then, you know, the Anger Shell boost and then the Potato Berry boost. So it get plus three. So it wouldn't be... Well, it, let, let, let me put it this way. It'll be hitting probably as hard as a normal physical set would be. Um, the, the, also, when I put these sets out, it, it automatically does zero when you do a special attacker. It doesn't have to be zero. Like, it can be any sort of stat that you want. Um, I just had a few people ask you about that. But yes, uh, there's a special trash set. So let's have a look at this. This is the Tanky Troll set. This one uh, is all based around just living lots of hits. So we've got a max health, max special defense set. Careful nature, dropping the special attack because we're not using special attack at all. So we've got Apicot Berry here. So Apicot Berry is going to be raising its special defense by one stage when it's at a quarter or you know max sort of health there. So that's going to be further boosting its kind of bad special defense stat. But after that, it's going to be quite bulky. So 
All around, it's going to have good bolts. So we've got shell armor on this set. I want to make use of all those abilities and show you all what you can do with them. So this stops critical hit. So what a better ability to have on a stalling Pokemon like shell armor. So normally, you know, bulky Pokemon that try and set up, the, the things that end them are, can quite often be a crit. So that gets around that problem. Uh, I've got Iron Defense here to boost up my defense. And we've got Guillotine and Sleep Talk. So this is a pure one-hit Kago set with Rest and Sleep Talk. I did run this and it actually worked pretty well. Obviously, I know it's got, uh, you know, obviously that weakness against ghost types there. You can't do anything. But the opponent did have a fair bit of trouble actually trying to get around this, you know. Um, I had a few Pokemon try and come in and crit me. A few special attackers come in there. And, you know, Desperation Terror. And, yeah, it was quite funny. You know, I, I got some guy, I got some good plays there. Um, of course, yeah, if someone comes in there and starts setting up nasty plots in you as you're missing guillotines, that could be uh, an issue too. But a little bit of a fun set there. Um, of course, not very competitive, but lots of fun to try out and use. Let's do some final uh, thoughts here on uh, Claw. So I did talk about this before, but a good partner for Claw. I've got it here as a Mungus, you know. That's a... You, know, you could run that as a double regenerator core. Or even just... Even if it was a sweeping one, that could be sort of a nice swapping for it. So anything with Spore be good. You could swap out, get your regenerator, and then go into the angry, angry sweeping set there and start sweeping with Sword Dance and setting up. Or you could, you know, couple it with one of these, uh, you know, regenerator sets there and use them as a core. So that could be a definite good uh, sweeper there. Let's have a look at doubles for Clawf. I like to always touch on all sort of formats here. I don't see this actually playing too much differently. I really don't. Um, no, nah, it, it's not playing too much differently in doubles than it does in singles. So if you do want to use this in doubles, um, you could just use... I'd just probably use the Anger Shell Sweeping Set here. Now, since we're missing two Pokemon, Focus Ash may not be as good as what... Uh, say it wouldn't be as good as, du as double. So I, I probably wouldn't go for that. I, I'd probably do this. I'd probably go back to loaded dice and uh, and use that and use that set and seven if that was me. If you if you really want to use this in doubles, I don't see it as a like a, a great Pokemon in doubles myself. But if you want to use it, you can. Prob I'd probably go ahead and use the sweeping uh, physical attacking set, you know. And I'd also adjust Stone Edge. I'd adjust that to Rock Slide too. That way, at least you get to you've got that stab Rock Slide, which is nice, you know. So if if say if you did get the Anger Shell going. And obviously, we'd adjust loaded dice. I'll do that in a sec. Um, if you did get the anger shell going and you were firing off rock sites, it actually would be pretty good. Um, it's just living those attacks, you know. That That's the problem. So, you could go ahead. Look, I probably... I probably... How about this? I'm going to try an assault fest set, right? Now, we want anger shell to activate, right? So, that's going to be helpful for that. And I'm going to give it one more attack. Okay, that's good. So I've got Trailblaze. Actually, this is quite good. This is going to be your best set to use in doubles, right? I've got the best set you can use here. So this is uh, Trailblaze, right? So we've got Trailblaze Physical Sweeper. So Trailblaze to boost our speed. And then once we're speedy enough, we can start going for Rock Slide. Now, I'm inclined to actually change my Terra to Rock here because I really wanted to spam Rock Slide, you know? That'll be great. So you got the Terra Rock, you're spamming Rock Slide. You got that 30% chance to flinch. You're doing good damage. And then you've got high horsepower as well to, you know, single any uh, Pokemon like Steel types. And you've also got Crab Hammer there as well. So I see that as a really good set for doubles. That's probably going to be your best double set right there. A, uh, a Pimp Knight Special there. So Assault Vest, Trailblaze, Rock Slide, High Horsepower, and Crab Hammer. Uh, Terra Type Rock. And yeah, give it a go if you want to use it in, in doubles. I'm not saying it's the greatest doubles Pokemon to use, but I'd say with that set, you're absolutely maximizing Clawf uh, as much as you could you know, possibly use it in doubles. All right, uh, let's have a look at some final sort of suggestions here. As for counters, I mean, it's not exactly a hard Pokemon to counter. Just hit it hard on the special side there and, uh, you know, wear it down. Any priority moves will get around it as well if it does manage to start sweeping with Anger Shell. So um, that's just basically, you know, uh, special moves and priority do get around Clawf, you know, and it's easily one-shotted too on the special side. That's, that's the thing, you know, um, I'm thinking, uh, that, yeah, that's about it. That, that's, it's, it's kind of obvious how to get around Clawf, you know, it's not exactly hard, but, uh, let's have a look at some final sort of thoughts here. So we got a physical moves here. There's not much else you can't do with it. Um, I'm just thinking to myself here. No, there's there's not really not much you can do. You could do like this cool set. I was uh, I was mucking around with this one here. This has got some good uh, sweeping potential. So 
we're really making use of these one health moves, right? I know I'm doubling up with Focus Ash and Endure. Matter of fact, we're going to go real crazy here today. So we've got Reversal. Um, that's not meant to be Fling either. That's meant to be Flyer. We don't want to <laughs> We don't want to fling our uh, weakness policy. So this is going to be uh, it's going to be pretty insane. So we've got Jolly. Yeah, so with this set, we really, really... Have get, obviously, we're going to get walled by Ghost Pokemon. But outside of that, this has got some crazy, crazy sweeping potential. So I could give it... I've got, I could give it knockoff too. That's another option to use against ghost type Pokemon. Matter of fact, I'm, I might actually do that. Okay, here we go. So I was gonna, I was thinking about doing sword dance. Actually, no, we're gonna go a sword dance here. So this set is to be used once all the counters are out the way. Mainly ghost type Pokemon, right? Now you can swap it in and use a sword dance. Most of the time, you're probably gonna uh, you're probably gonna be able to get that sword dance up right, and then after that, a counter will probably inevitably come in. So then you can go for an endure, and when you're enduring, you know you can get the uh, anger shell if you haven't got one already. Um, well, you're gonna it's gonna be helpful there because you're gonna get a boost for weakness policy if you get hit by a super effective move, and then you can start going for reversal and flail. Um, as for the terror type, we'll swap it up. Hmm, terror type. We could go Terra type normal. That would be that would be kind of nice. In matter of fact, I'd go normal because if you go Terra type normal, that gets you around like Shadow Sneak. So that's a, a good way to get around any priority moves there. So you could make Cloth a reversal flail set. Like Steel types are getting dropped like a stone, pardon the pun, and Flail will be doing the rest there. They'll be doing like loads of damage. And you've got Endure as well to check other moves and things like that, like Fake Out. You know, you can still get around that. Yeah, so a nice physical set on, on cloth. Now, once again, if you haven't, if you're new to the channel and stuff like that, if you found this video, I have done a cloth sweep, so you can check it out on YouTube, Pimp Night Cloth Sweep. And I actually really made use of Anger Shell. I did this, I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you what the set was. I did it on purpose though, like this is this is not a really competitive set, but I wanted to see what I could do with it. So I had uh, Resto Chesto, and I had, I deliberately did that so I could get Anger Shell off. And then I had like a couple of other moves there. I believe I had like, um, I like Stone Edge and Crab Hammer and Brick Break. And then I just, I don't know, I just deliberately got like two of them and it worked really, really well. So like the, the first attack put me on half health and then I went rest. So I got all my health back, woke, woke up and then they hit me again. And then I got another Anger Shell and then <laughs> I sort of just swept there. So it was sort of like getting like a passive sword dance, you know, and a passive... Uh, like a, a pa passive agility at the same time. So it sort of worked from there. I was lucky though. I think I was, I was, I was lucky and then there was any special attackers around, but that was uh, like another option that I used. But anyway, people, that is, uh, that's your guide on how to use cloth. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, if you did enjoy it, uh, leave a like below there and I'm going to continue doing these Gen 9 uh, fully evolved Pokemon. All right, people, that's about it. Peace out.